Hello, everybody, and welcome to my brand new podcast. And uh, so this is my first podcast, and I'm starting off the channel name as Weasel Podcasts, and I'm going to be changing that in the future, because um, if you don't know uh, Owen Keatman, his uh, podcast is called uh, Welcome Home, and I'm going to be trying to make up a name with that. So anyways, I'm joined today by Nitro. Hey guys. And yeah, so um, today's going to be kind of fun. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually recording on my new setup that I've got. Um, I mean, like, uh, we have Audacity running in the background, and then you guys are not looking at our face, which is kind of a weird thing, because I know if you're on YouTube, you probably recognize the H3 podcast, which um, has face, and it actually records you. But no, we just have uh, like a GIF or a still screen. Um, kind of weird, but uh, I'm just trying to get the new uh, equipment set up so we can actually get to that in the future. So... With that, um, do you want to explain what we did today? So, we made a mini-movie, and we were kind of just screwing around, and we also played a little bit of Half-Life. Oh, yeah. the Half-Life, um, if you don't know Half-Life, it's a great series. It was one of Valve's, uh, which is a game maker, it's one of Valve's first games, like, that ever came out. And it's probably one of my favorite games. It's uh, basically a uh, first-person shooter, but you're running through an entire, like, map of aliens and the government's after you. And I like the game, and I think you're liking it, too, because I'm letting you play that. But, yeah, so I am pretty happy about this new podcast. Um, I, I, I really never listened to podcasts. I kind of just got into it because of Owen Keatman was doing that. And, uh, yeah. So, I actually might be, be releasing the first podcast before Owen actually uploads. Because I'm planning on getting this up tomorrow or... So, if you're watching this on, like, Wednesday or Thursday, um, August uh, 15th or 16th, I'm recording this on the 14th. But if you're watching this later, hi, welcome to the podcast. This is my first ever podcast, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, how's Half-Life? Because I enjoyed it, and uh, if you guys haven't played it, uh, I would highly suggest it. And uh, how was your experience with it? So, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, I'm not as into it as I guess I think you were, but it's a pretty good game so far and i've only made it about halfway through well i wouldn't say halfway i would say you're almost to the end he is almost to the end of the original half-life and he used to have to play half-life 2 which is way better and has way more story and i'm mean, gonna guess you're liking a lot better but um yeah so about that uh mini movie we made uh, Today we made brownies, and that was hilarious because we had no idea what we were doing. Well, I guess we had some idea, but still, it was kind of weird because we were just throwing stuff around and having a good time. But I have to edit that tonight, and then I have to get that up uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. So, yeah. Um, anyways, um, I did kind of want to talk about... Um, uh, what was I going to talk about? I was going to talk about uh, Owen's podcast, and I did want to say that um, I will be making a lot of appearances on his podcast. Um, we were kind of talking about it on the, the off time, and uh, even if you, Nitro, wanted to join, you totally could. You could probably, we could probably just jump on like a Skype call or something. But yeah, um, I kind of enjoyed it, and I'm enjoying podcasting so far. I really just didn't even know what podcasting was until, like, Owen was talking about it, but yeah, anyways, you you haven't really seen Owen as much as me. Like, I think you've seen him at my cottage, like, once, and then you saw him here? Uh, no, only at the cottage. Just only at the cottage, really. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we had a fun time up there. We had a fun few days. We did. We went on the ice. If you guys haven't seen that, it's on my main channel, Weasel Vlog. Also, uh, you are probably here from my main channel. Um, because I announced on my main channel back in Traverse City. And, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyways, about the Traverse City, uh, that was a great 19-day series, and I kind of am very proud of myself because I vlogged 19 days in a row, which was crazy for me because I've never done something like that before because I believe the last time I vlogged that long was like four days, and it was something else. I can't remember what it actually was, but uh, we were doing stuff up there. I think you were up there with Owen. But anyways, what have you been up to since I was in Traverse City? When you were in Traverse City, I was kind of just doing nothing. <laughs> hey, you bought the Battle Pass for Fortnite, so... Yeah. If you guys don't know, uh, Nitro is an avid game player, and he plays, like, three games. No. Yes. What three games? Warframe, Fortnite, and Overwatch. I can add a whole bunch. Okay. Name a list. Okay, let's go. The original Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Borderlands the pre-sequel, I've also played Tales of the Borderlands, I've played Black Ops 3, I've played Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, the original COD 4, there's a whole list. <laughs> hey, if you just go over and take a look at my uh, Steam library, what do I have on my Steam library? All of the FNAF games, Five Nights at Freddy's, all the Counter-Strike games, all the Half-Life games, all the Portal games, just a ton of other games, Gary's Mod, Goat Simulators, Hitman Absolution, Hitman and Sniper Challenge, and Left 4 Dead, I have Minecraft, Roblox, all those games. I don't play those shooter games that you play as much. I do play PUBG, but I don't play Fortnite. Like, I did... But then I just really fell off the place of the planet with it. It was just kind of weird. But, yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is kind of interesting because uh, since I got home to Traverse City, you came over, like, the next day, which was kind of... I mean, I I love enjoying spend... Or, what am I saying? I enjoy spending time with you. So, it was good that you actually got to come over and got to start this podcast with me. And also, by the way, if you guys think we're talking a little bit too slowly, it's because we've been, um, <laughs> well, we are in the situation that we have a playback going in our ears so we can actually hear what's going on. And it's kind of making me talk a little bit slower than usual because I'm trying to, like, process it while also talking at the same time. And, uh, Nitro, I'm guessing you're also having the same reaction because it's kind of, it's, it's so weird. Yeah, it's really hard to speak because you're trying to listen to what you've already said and then say something to add to it. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, this is my third podcast. I mean, if I actually do end up podcasting a lot more, then I'm probably just going to get used to it. And you're going to be on a lot of them because I have no other guests except Owen. But he has his own podcast to tend to, so I'm not going to bother him too much. But, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Anyways, um, <laughs> we were uh, just... I, I did kind of want to talk about some of the stuff at Traverse City. And I know you've watched every single one of my vlogs, which, congratulations, you've actually done something, like, to... Me? I don't really know. But thank you for watching. If you haven't watched the Traverse City series, you should watch that because it's a interesting few days. Because, well, I mean, it was kind of interesting. Like, some days were super boring and some days were a little bit better. But I'm just self-advertising at this point. Hey, do you want to self-advertise a little bit? Uh, no. Okay, I'll do it for you. 
go subscribe to Nitro Vlogs on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so, um, any, uh, any, uh, tips you want to give out to the, uh, podcast on Fortnite? Because I know if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably not, like, an avid Fortnite player, or if you're probably not even a gamer at all. If you're not a gamer at all, you're probably someone in my family or just watching this. So, if you are going to listen to this next part, you might not understand anything, but... That's okay, because you can just keep listening, and maybe you just, you'll understand it later. So, any tips on Fortnite? Uh, just watch all your games and all your replays, just to see what you did wrong in a gunfight, and make sure your bindings are how you want them to, and just kind of set all your sensitivity and everything like that to what you want, and not what, like streamers or youtubers tell you to because it's way easier to play when you have your own custom keybinds instead of like a streamers because then you're the one that made them and you understand them more yeah i mean oh i did want to say um what is your stance on the Logan Paul KSI fight, which is going to be happening? And if you don't know, this is going to be August 25th, and Logan Paul and KSI are going to be fighting. Uh, I believe, is it boxing? Yeah, I it's think boxing. so. Okay. Well, it's it's going to be kind of weird. I don't really know. I, I'm i going to guess Logan Paul is going to win, just because, like, Game Theory made a video on it. I, I would, it's pretty convincing. Um... Do you have any stances on this, or do you have any guesses on it? No, I haven't really been keeping up with it, to I mean, be honest. Yeah, nor have I. It's just, it's kind of weird, because, like, it's it's just, it's, they, they've been building everything up. I think it's just for, like, content, because, I mean, both of their channels have, well, probably the last quite few videos have been about just the boxing, and I guess it's just, like, easy content. And it's all leading up just to, like, one, like, 30-minute boxing fight, which is going to probably be irrelevant in, like, a year or two. Yeah. But it might doom somebody's channel. Like, if uh, KSI loses, he's probably going to be pretty embarrassed because he's been gloating about it a lot. And he's just been like, oh, I'm going to win. Well, so is Logan Paul. So if K KSI is going to win, um, then I guess, well... <laughs> Rip Logan Paul's channel, but well, his channel's already in a bad place right now. But yeah, what do you think about the Jake Paul and uh, Deji fight, which is the undercard of that fight? Yeah, um, I haven't really been keeping up with the whole the situation in general because that's just drama that I don't want to be involved in or listen to or keep up with. So. Yeah, true. I mean, like, it's 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 weird. I, I, I really don't know how to explain it, and it's just... I hope for the best for two sides, for both the sides, and I really don't care about the match, and a lot of people don't care about the match, and why are you guys doing this? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I did want to talk about uh, some... A few subscriber changes in the YouTube community. First of all, Jacksepticeye, which is a famous uh, gamer, just reached 20 mil. So, uh, congratulations to you, Jack. And also, um, Casey Neistat just reached 10 million. And the King of Random, which I am keeping up with because uh, he's like an inventor, or he does like cool experiments and stuff, and I like him his channel a lot. And uh, he is about to reach, uh, I believe it's 10 million. So congratulations to them. And yeah, I hope you guys both the best. Any comment? Um, no, I just watch all the people that you just listed, so I'm also giving them a good job and keep up the good work. Oh, do you want to talk about the Captain Sparkles' main channel? 
Oh, yeah, the fact that he's, like, dying, kind of. He's losing a lot of subscribers in the past, like, month or so. Yeah. Um, I, his, he is not doing too well, I'll tell you right now. Um, for the past, oh gosh, forever ago, he's been losing a few hundred subscribers a day, like, just, uh, what is it, today, he lost 203, yesterday, 319, 244, and the rate he's going, he just got the, um, he just reached the threshold for the diamond play button, which hey, congratulations! But now you're doing not to, now you're not doing anything because Captain Sparkles he used to game a lot, and now if you go on his channel, um, all of his content is just Reddit. It's just reacting to Reddit, like his last video. Oh no, well yeah, well his last video was Ankinator, I guess, but Ankinator has forgotten me. But, yeah, so he just reached the threshold, and it looks like he's going to be going back from 10 million to 9 million, because he just reached the threshold, and he's going back. But, yeah, uh, that was, that's just, I, I, I don't know why he, he did that. Maybe he just gave up on this channel. But his other, ch other channels are doing pretty good. Um, like, I mean, Captain Sparkles 2 is... Uh, gaining, yeah, about half a thousand, so 600, 500, uh, a day. So, that's good. I mean, I don't know why he switched his gaming to Captain Sparkles 2. I mean, if it was some monetization problem, I guess, I'm meaning YouTube could probably figure that out pretty fast. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't know why he switched his gaming over to a second channel. It's just kind of weird. But Yeah, so anything you want to talk about? Not really. <laughs> I don't have anything in mind or anything that I would think to talk about. I think we've covered a lot. Yeah, I mean um I've been I've been, I kind of just dragged Nitro into this podcast because I didn't want to do my first podcast alone because that'd just be kind of weird, but... <laughs> yeah, what would be the point of a podcast of only one person? Just talk about stuff? Like, because I mean, like, H3 podcast, they have two people. The husband and the wife. Yeah, but... I think Owen was trying to start... Owen, if you're in the comment section or something, are you starting your podcast alone? Because in your Instagram, your welcome home pod, uh, your Instagram for that, you kind of just like alone in a room recording. I mean, you are recording with a camera, granted. Uh, I'm not doing that. I might do it in the future. Who knows? But um, are you recording your first pers or first podcast alone? Because if you are, hit me up. I can record it with you. But, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised about YouTube right now. Because YouTube, all a lot of the channels are just changing like crazy. Like, um, a lot more um, popular channels are just dying. And a lot more um, unpopular channels are growing. But. I mean, that's good. Um, out with the old, in, w in with the new, I guess. <laughs> but I do kind of miss some of the old uh, dead, dead YouTubers. Um, I mean, Sky does Minecraft. We watched, we were just talking about that the other day of uh, old Minecraft YouTubers. We were watching his kids. He, oh, uh, Sky does Minecraft, he kind of just rebranded everything. Like, he just threw everything out the window. He didn't. Well, he kept all of his old videos, but he changed his name, or his uh, channel name, and he changed all of his art and stuff like that, and he started uploading different stuff, and he kind of just threw Minecraft out the window. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, yeah, I guess he's still kind of around, but, um, just, like, never gonna do Minecraft again. But I know we were talking about uh, Stampy, Stampy Longhead. Uh, he's still uploading Minecraft. 
yeah. which I'm kind of surprised about because that's still like the main thing on his channel, and he's been doing that for years. Like I still remember him watching watching him as a child, or like a yeah. But I'm super surprised he's doing that because at this point a lot of YouTubers are kind of moving away from that. Like uh, Sunday, he's moving away from that. Uh, Dan TDM, he his channel is ba was based on Minecraft. His seriously his channel. Name is the Diamond Minecart, which is directly related to Minecraft, and he's just veering away from that. Like, he still does some occasional Minecraft videos, but I understand that you're veering away. Like, seriously, I have my own gaming channel. Oh, voice crack. I have my own gaming channel that I do, like, nothing with because my computer can't record it. So, if you guys are subscribed to my gaming channel, um, I'm gonna be getting back to that. I just need to get a better computer or, like, beef up the computer because right now I cannot record anything. Like, even today, we tried to record a, uh, Try Not To Laugh video for my vlog channel just to try something new, and it completely, fa <laughs> it completely failed. Like... Yeah, because OBS and it just... Like, it kept on cutting out, and, like, the video, or, like, the screen capture wouldn't, it would, like, glitch or lag. It would bug out. Yeah. So it would look frozen, and then it would just all of a sudden li li live in back up, live back up, and then it would just, like, work again and then it would break down and then it would work again and then it would just like stop it was just bad i mean obs on older computers is just a mess like you literally can't do anything with it like if we tried it on your computer it would like just die like his computer he's got a dell inspiron 11 3000 series which is like uh 200 or 400 dollar laptops i think it's 200 200 it's not a good computer. No. It's not, it's really not. It's pretty bad. Um, I mean, you can still edit on it. Like, it just, like, blows up the entire computer. I have a Microsoft Surface RT, which Microsoft, it was kind of their uh, big opening point for making tablets because I know the iPad did pretty well and they were like oh I want some of that business and everybody's like oh I don't really want a big computer anymore I want a tablet it was the worst fail ever and I seriously regret buying the computer I mean it works okay I mean we're recording on it right now it's it's doing okay I mean just Sometimes, like, the other day when you were over, we, it crashed. Remember that? When I was trying to update it. Yeah. And it, the blue screen was, like, destroyed. It was, like, glitching out. It was... See, and I think that had something to do with the update because my computer did the same thing. Oh, did it? Yeah. It, oh. My update came later. So, like, at my house when I went home, um, it tried to update and then it did the same thing weird microsoft get on that <laughs> but yes yeah, so um my computer it runs it like a if you're not a techie person you're not gonna understand any of this but me and nitro are super techie people and we know how to build computers and everything about a computer Basically, it runs at 1.6 gigahertz, um, and the average computer these days run at about 2.5, and yours runs at like 1.5? Yeah, base, like base, base clock. Base clock. Yeah, um, I mean, we could boost it, but it's still not even up to 2.5. Like, the base model newer versions of these are still under 2.5. Like, Microsoft... Please improve your processors. Like, everything else about your computers are super nice. Like, SSDs, you're trying to get rid of hard drives. It's got, like, massive good audio on it. You can do great things with it, except for the processor. Like, I know my dad has one for his work because this company bought him for everybody. And his base speed is, like, 1.2. Oof. Yeah, you can't do anything on that. I think 
He still runs Microsoft Ex or Internet Explorer. Oof. Yeah. Internet Explorer. You guys remember that? Internet Explorer? When was that? Like, when did that, when did they get rid of that? Like, three, four years ago? They were, they switched to Microsoft Edge. And Microsoft Edge is a little bit better, but it runs Bing. And I'm too lazy to change it to Google. But whatever, that's fine. I don't use it anyways. I use Google Chrome because Google Chrome is better. But I yeah, s yeah. I sometimes run Edge if I'm like searching something up quickly. Yeah. But otherwise, I'll use Chrome. Chrome's more reliable. Well, I mean. They did, in effort, they did try to make it better. Like, it takes less RAM than Chrome. RAM is, like, crazy. Because Chrome will take all of it and will leave, like, three megabytes behind. <laughs> yeah, it opens up so many different instances of itself. It just, like, crashes everything. Yeah, your computer... Like, if you don't have a good computer, like, over what, like 2012, then it, good luck running Chrome, seriously. The only thing you can really do on that computer is probably open Internet Explorer, and even then it's going to crash. Hey, I played Minecraft on, I think, a 2008 computer. Oh, I remember that. Okay, so here's a story real quick. So we, I played Minecraft with Nitro here, and uh, I still remember this pretty clearly. So there's these blocks in Minecraft that you can do like a copy paste with thing with it. So I placed like a massive block of TNT and then copy pasted it so many times that when I lit it, it like crashed your computer. Yep. Uh, I think my computer did a complete restart. Wow, just from Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> the most basic of game, and it still can't run it. Yeah. I mean, hey, it la it still played Minecraft. I mean, not well, but... I think I was running at a solid six frames per second. Yeah, and if you're not a gamer, six frames per second is the worst thing ever. The average is like... 60? 60 for, Good like... Good computers, and then 30 for regular. Yeah. Like, my computer, a halfway decent <laughs> FPS is 30. Yeah. His computer. Well, my computer can run games better than yours. Yeah. Which makes absolutely no sense, because yours has a built-in um, graphics card. Yeah. Which is beyond me. I'm not even gonna... I think it's because of the Pentium. Um, no, I don't think, because I have an, oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right, because he has a Pentium in his computer, which is a weird Intel processor, which I don't even know why they make them anymore, and mine has an i5, which i5s are pretty good, I mean, it goes like i3, i5, i7, and now the brand new model of the i9, which is like two grand, which I'm not dropping two grand on the processor, who would? Not me. I mean. Um, but I have found computers that clock higher with an i3 than an i5. Yeah. I mean, it really depends on the actual, like, model of it, because you could have, like, a fourth generation i5 and, like, a sixth generation i3, and it would probably still run better. But it doesn't have the full capabilities as an i5, even though, yes, it still could run better. Yeah, and the other thing that is kind of bad about my computer is the hard drive inside. Oh, yes. It's so slow and it's so bad that that's one of the things that hinders me the most. I mean, especially for you, because you would launch, like, a lot of programs. And if you're launching so many programs, it just does a great deal on the hard drive. And, like, if you have a hard drive, I would suggest getting over a 7200 RPM hard drive. Like, you have a 5400? Yeah. And no, that's a no-no because his disk utilization, which is how much it uses the disk, is 100% all the time. When on my computer right now... My disk is at 
one percent. Yeah. And his is always at a hundred because it's always loading like more or stuff. less always yeah. at a hundred. It's crazy. It's just insane. And yeah. then like I I would even suggest getting like a I mean like you don't you don't like. I mean, you, your hard drive is just garbage, to be honest. Like, but I would expect that in, like, a $200 computer. Like, I spent 50 bucks on an external drive, and it's the best thing, like, ever. I can store all my stuff on it. I can launch stuff from it. Beautiful. But that's 50 bucks, like, yeah. for a terabyte. Yeah. But still, that's pretty good. But if you're buying... That's, like, a fourth of the computer if you put a terabyte hard drive in there. Yeah. Like... It's just, at that point, it's not even worth it. You might as well just save up for a new computer. True. Because, like, I'm saving up for a new computer right now because... And I'm guessing you are as well. Yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to go with a desktop or a laptop. I don't know yet. Yeah, you're kind of split. Uh, for us, like, uh, we kind of both decided on desktops for a while, and then I kind of changed my mind, and then you're kind of just, like, in between still. Yeah. Because I want a laptop because, like, I go everywhere. Like, I just recently went to Traverse City, and I can't bring a desktop. Like, I mean, I could, but that would just be way too inconvenient. And if I'm, like, doing something in my, if I'm, it's just, if I'm... Moving somewhere, it is ridiculously inconvenient to bring a box. Like, I mean, laptops are more expensive for, like, the same price as, or the same, like... Components. Uh, same components as, um, like, um, yes, it's, it's just, it's more expensive for the same components, just for the, like portable capabilities yeah which i would understand that because like if you have a desktop it's like one and done you place it there you're not moving it for a few years and then for a laptop you can move it anywhere it's so convenient but it's like way more expensive for that capability which i'm okay with paying that because it would be so much nicer to bring a laptop somewhere rather than haul a desktop around or just Bring a little tiny computer around with you. Like, to have two computers. Yeah, but here's the other thing. Is if you were to start saving now for that type of expensive laptop, um, it would almost be more worth it to, after you get your driver's license and a vehicle, to just get a desktop and just carry your desktop around in your vehicle. True. True, you could. <laughs> I mean, technically you could, yeah. And then you get a better display, a better keyboard, and it's just... Yeah. I mean, like, a car and a computer is a big difference. Like, so yeah. a car can cost upwards, like, for a decent car, it can cost upwards of, like, 20 grand. And for a good computer, it can cost upward of 2000 2, Yeah. I mean, what, you could buy ten laptops for a car? Yeah, about <laughs> that. But that's a little ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's just weird. I, I, I just, ugh, it's kind of just complicated. But I wish cars were less expensive. I wish everything was less expensive, but that's fine that's life you have to get a job you have to work for society whatever anyways we've been going for 34 minutes yeah nice. also another topic that i think we could talk about yeah is the rising of prices in the house market so houses are getting way more expensive yes yes they are seriously like Houses, like a while ago, houses were, they were still pretty expensive, but they weren't like super expensive to the point where you have to take out like a massive mortgage. And now you do. Yeah, because my parents paid, I think, $175,000 for their house. Wow. And 
now a house down the street that's selling is like two hundred two and a half hundred thousand like like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars oh it's like the same size yes. area wow that's double yeah yeah it's crazy i mean we moved like oh god we moved like over five years ago and still oh my gosh um we bought our house for over four hundred thousand which is crazy right yeah but that also is kind of the price of your neighborhood yeah true i mean a house across the street just sold for like six grand or six thousand Six hundred thousand. What am I saying? Six grand for a house? Heck yeah. No. Six hundred thousand. That's like over a half a million. But it's a big house, seriously. Yeah, it's huge. Um, but yeah, so the house market is just kind of weird. I mean, there are some people who just don't get a house at all. They can just go like a camper or something. I mean, because Walmart is now accepting people in RVs just parking in lots for as long as they can if they want to. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you would still need, like, power and water, but probably just go down the street, get a generator, and you can walk into Walmart, hey, I'll take this generator today, and just walks out with the generator and just plugs on your stuff. You probably go get water from somewhere, too. <laughs> walk into the bathroom, I'll take, like, 50 gallons of water and they're like okay yeah sure whatever i mean it would still be pretty convenient just to live like right next to a walmart you can walk in buy whatever you want go home uh, yeah live in the life yeah see and i wish they like came with like or they had like rv packages where there was like a ton like just however much water and then oh that would be so nice like, like it came with water a generator and like a water replacement system that would you know what they should do is they should they should give like you the opportunity to like like you can pull up to a spot you can like you can just like park there and you can plug in like a water valve and like electricity and you can, yeah. like, lock it into place, and you can, like, lock it so nobody can, like, steal it from your RV. Yeah, like, because they have those, like, campgrounds where mm -hmm. it it's a hose for waste disposal. Yeah. And a water hose and an electrical power outlet. Basically just be, like, three tubes sticking out of the ground, like, intake, water, outtake, and then, like, like outtake for, like, waste, and then, like, a plug like like a, yeah. like one of those big like power jacks you could just yeah. plug in but that would be like so nice because then you could just pay like walmart like a fee maybe like every month like and it would still be a lot cheaper because then you could have like it used to be a lot cheaper than like having a house i mean you could have like a mortgage on the rv like a loan but yeah. i mean if when you pay that off you could just have to pay like a small amount for water and electricity and you're good or you could live, like, traveling, always. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you just travel from campground to campground mm -hmm. to get your power and do your waste and get water. That would be kind of nice. You know, I, I like traveling. I mean, unless I get car sick. <clears throat> Last vlog. Um, but, I mean, it's... it's It was... Uh, I like traveling. Traveling's fun. Like, I mean... I really don't care if I go in a car for like nine hours and go drive and it's nice. And even like having an RV, that would be awesome because you have all your stuff in there. You can just like chill in there. You could oh, go play on a laptop if some uh, somebody could drive and you're set. Or you do what a lot of people are doing now and rent a, like make a van or something like school that bus. and go home. Yeah, school yeah. bus. Yeah. Um, there was this, uh, there's this new trend in, like, England or, like, UK where they convert double-story buses into houses. Yeah. The mm -hmm. upstairs is a bedroom, the downstairs is, like, a lounge area, it's got a water heat, hot water heater, it's got power reserve, water reserve, 
and I mean, props to the person who came up with that and actually like designed a great house in there because I would live in there in a heartbeat. That that would be amazing. Because all you'd have to do is pay for water, electricity, and gas. Yeah, that would be like so nice because you don't have to pay for like a massive house for like the rest of your life. Well, and see, what you would end up paying for, though, is your, well, I would imagine you'd either pull out a loan or mortgage mm -hmm. for the actual reconstruction of the bus or yeah. just the home in general, whatever you want to make it from. And then you'd also have to pay for your gas, water, and electricity, like I said. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be, like, a, like, it would probably be, like, a little less than, like, a house, but still, it's, actually, no, it might be a lot less than a house if, like, depending on the size of it. Yeah. And, like, how much you want to, like, make it modern or, like, renovate the entire thing, but, hey, good idea. Good idea, people. You got, like, a brand new house, and it's, like, on wheels, so you can actually, like, move it places. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, if you had, like, I, I know there are those places where you can, like, park there for a little bit and you can pay, like, a monthly fee for water and electricity. And I yeah. mean, like, Walmart, here's an idea for you. Do that. That's a fast way to make money. Yeah. I mean, like, that would be perfect for people, too, because they could just, like, stop there for a while or even, f like, for the rest of their life. That would be great for people. Like, that would help people out so much. And there's another source of income for yeah, Walmart. Yeah, instead of, like, just relying on the fact that people will come into your store and buy your stuff and then leave and that's your profit, you could make even more profit with the RV fees and setting yeah. up those stations. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that would be, because, like, I know a lot of companies are, like, switching over other stuff, like, I mean, <laughs> Tesla, like, brand new company, they started with cars, and, well, it's kind of weird, because, like, Elon Musk, the creator, or, like, uh, one of the co-founders of it, he has so many companies, and each company has so many branches of it, it's insane, like, I know Amazon's opening up to stuff, because, like, Amazon just used to be, like, a bookstore. Now, then they changed to an online uh, retailer. And then even now, because, like, the present day, they are an online retailer, now they're a grocery store. Amazon Go. Yeah. And it would be such a great idea for more companies to do that, so it would offer more things, and it would be more income for them. Yeah. Like, even, like blockbuster stores or like just like uh, a big store like a grocery store or something um i mean not grocery stores because grocery stores we're gonna still gonna have for a long time if not for like it's like, just like forever i mean like amazon is making that kind of difficult because they have like amazon fresh in cities where they deliver it to your door but a lot of those stores are going out of business like sears uh toys r us toys r us that was a big one that just went out yeah people are so sad about that yeah um what else there was there was a bunch yeah um yeah i th i swear um one of them just uh it's like the fishing one what's that the like the the bass pro shop or something oh yeah um Gander Mountain went out they of business. They went out of business, yes. That's another one. But they're I'm... coming back. They are? Yeah. Really? The store opened off of the highway area. Oh, did it? Really? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, Bass Pro Shops. I swear they filed for bankruptcy. Uh, no. From they what we've seen, they were open the last time we drove by. Uh, yeah, I believe, like, Shields and a lot of those businesses are gonna go out of business soon because you can just buy it online. Like, I mean, they still, they're still used for, like, bigger things, like kayaks. You're not gonna yeah. order a kayak online. I mean, yeah. unless it's an inflatable one, but nobody likes inflatable kayaks. I mean, if you do, but some people do. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's kind of just wonky. Yeah. 
but I mean, they, they still have good business in some places and complete loss of businesses in other places. And I mean, for them to stay open, it's just every day it's getting more and more of a struggle. And I mean, okay, I'm sorry, you guys, but Amazon is taking over. Yeah. Amazon is like, Amazon, I mean, good job, Jeff Bezos. You started as a, like a bookstore and now you're a multi-billion dollar company. Yep. Oh, do you want to talk about Apple? The first trillion dollar company that still incorporates dongles and their new i9 bottlenecks? Really? Oh, you didn't know that? No. Um, their new, uh, I think they updated it or something, but it's a lot slower. So, recently they, I believe they up, uh, released a MacBook Pro that bottlenecked awfully. So, if you don't know what bottlenecking is, it means that the processor gets so hot that the computer's forced to go way slower just to cool down the processor or, or else your uh, computer will overheat. And basically what happened was people who got the new i9 processors in the new MacBook, um, oh. Intel i9, it bottlenecked so bad when they were like editing videos or something, because Macs are mainly used uh, in the uh, filmmaking industry. And um, I mean, I don't use a Mac. I wish I used a Mac, but I broke mine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, uh, they, they bottlenecked so bad that all of the tech YouTubers were talking about it forever. I mm -hmm. mean, if you look up, let's look up Mac bottle, bottleneck, Mac bottle, bottleneck, Mac bottleneck. All right. Um, if I go to videos, yeah, it's. All of these are about bottlenecking, and it's just... Yeah, it's just crazy. Bottlenecking. Yeah. But a lot of people were not happy with that, and I, I would understand why. I, I Well, I do understand why. It's because they spend, like, what is it, like, three or four thousand dollars on a brand new great iMac, and... They can't use it to its full potential because it overheats. Yeah. Which I would completely understand because if I, if I drop so much money on something, you expect it to work, especially if it's so expensive. And I mean, Apple, good job. You put a i9, which has been out for a while, the one of Intel's fastest processors, except for the Xeon, um, inside of it. But your heat sink is so bad that it can't handle it. So, Mac, you gotta, or Apple, you have to update your MacBooks to incorporate such power or else people are gonna be mad. Because they're already mad. It's like, it's, it's, it's just, it was a bad move by them. Yeah. I, I don't understand that. Um, but, yeah. So, anything else you want to talk about? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, today, uh, according to my time filter, we have a 50-minute pod. Well, 48, but 50-minute podcast, which I would say is a massive success for our my first podcast, and I'm guessing our first podcast. Yeah, yeah. It would be. That is crazy. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna outro right now, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Big special thank you to Nitro. Uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. Really appreciate it. Anyways, so thank you for watching the podcast. More podcasts will be uploaded soon. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.